I mean, I'd love to own those businesses. I, I really would. Um, uh, you have so much going for you. You know, time is on your side. If you buy them a bit too, ex a bit too, uh, if you pay a bit too much for them, well, then the intrinsic value grows into the price that you pay. None of that's true for uh, for, for Graham style stocks. Um, you hold them forever, which means you benefit from from you know uh, deferring the tax. There are lots of reasons to uh, you know theoretically um, prefer the kind of Buffett style stock. But um, uh, to my mind, at least, the real genius of Buffett, um, I mean, in part, I think it was the free leverage from, from insurance float. Um, that was pure genius. And, but the second thing is really, as a, as a business analyst, to, to, to know that Geico would be able to sustain um, you know, its cost advantage over decades. Um, that's uh, that's 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 amazing. I mean, you know, there are airline, you know, low cost airlines. There are low cost, ins there are other low cost insurance companies around today. Um, many of which look like they might, well, a few of which look like they might have sustainable advantages. But you know, to bet, um, you know, uh, to 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 make a bet at at a, at a price of twenty or twenty five times. Uh, earnings that, uh, that that you're going to be right for the next 30 years. That's uh, that's a huge bet, and I, I admire people who do it, and and uh, obviously admire Buffett for for uh, having done so well at it. But um, uh, in some ways, I know that um, you know people do talk about Buffett's skill as a, as a business analyst, but. Uh, uh, I think in some ways we don't talk enough about it because I, I think that's, that's part of his real genius.